trend in fashion is all about sustainability. And here to tell us what the fashion and retail world and new brands are doing to become more eco-friendly is lifestyle expert Yesenia de Avila. Welcome back to the show, Yesenia. Hi, Java. I'm so excited to talk about this topic because we're seeing it. It's taking the fashion world by storm. And let me start by telling you about H&M. H&M is coming up with a new collection called The Color Story. It's about to launch April 22nd. And they're using new creative cutting edge technology, biotechnology, and and uh, using a lot of plant-based dyes. Uh, this is an example. I know we have some really cool visuals of their new collection. So we're seeing this take, you know, a, a flight and really making an impact to make a, a more eco-friendly planet with retailers such as H&M and this new collection, The Color Story. Okay, I love this because, you know, so many people are thinking about plant-based when it comes to what they eat not necessarily what they put on their body, right? And we should definitely yeah. be, be thinking about that for sure. So plant-based yeah. dye, you said, and that's a cute little outfit behind you. Uh, oh, yeah, I know. And, you know, even on the runway, we're seeing this with high-end designers. Raul Peñaranda is a perfect example. He's never mass-produced, and he's always been cruelty-free. But in his spring-summer collection that he has frequency, he recrafted some, some of his pieces from his past collection and made a new beautiful outfits for his new collection. Um, and at minimizing fabrics and minimizing a lot of times cost for the consumer. So it's a really, really, really exciting yeah. trend that's happening. Yeah. Okay. So uh, summer will be here in a second. You know, we're here in Florida. We love the beach. Yes. And you have something, some swimwear, right? That uh, I... was made using recycled plastic. Yes. Yes. Lagata swimwear is doing it right. They're making these gorgeous, gorgeous line of swimwear and cover up plastic and upcycled threads. And they're really, really conscious about the consumption of water that is being used to produce each garment. So really keeping it eco-friendly and making it sustainable. And a lot of people are getting so creative with the way they're, they're doing things. And Legata Swimwear is one of those beautiful brands that are, are doing things right. Wow, that's really cool. You know what, uh, for my birthday that just passed, one of my friends gave me some workout clothes that was uh, made with recycled materials. So uh, this is a great ah. gift to give people, folks, right? Maybe mom for Mother's Day coming up around the corner. You also have yeah. uh, some shoe brands that are working hard to be eco-friendly, right? Tell me about that. Yes. So Reef is a summer, summery sandals that we know and love. And they now have this all focus, sustainable focus with their sandals. And they use, you know, for the classic drip that men wear, they use sustainable on their on their straps and their corks are all made with. I mean, the sole is all made with 100% uh, cork and they even use renewable sugar cane for their midsoles. So really making it you know, comfortable, stylish, and eco-friendly, which is a perfect trio combination. Uh, and, you know, other, okay. other brands wow. other, other brands are emerging too with shoes. And this is an exciting trend to see that other brands um, are, are coming up. And Delaterra is one of those examples. This entrepreneur was coming out of COVID when she launched this, uh, this, this brand of shoes, Delaterra. And it's, you know, now that we're all coming out of quarantine and putting that extra spring in our step, these are gorgeous shoes yeah. that have these cool, cool color block heels. I think you would look really cute on them. Um, Delaterra. So really also they're <laughs> plant, they're planting a tree for every shoe sold. So that's another way and another incentive to, to really support these brands. Wow. They, they, these brands are blowing my mind with uh, how creative they are. Right. Uh, and, and how they are really working to save our planet. That's fantastic. So, Last but not least, you also have um, a company to shout out, a jewelry company, right, Who, who's following this yes. trend of being eco-friendly. We can't talk fashion without talking accessories. And Catherine Weitzman is this beautiful jeweler, an artist that creates um, jewelry inspired by nature, but all using recycled gold and recycled metals and materials. Uh, and she, a lot of her pieces are created by nature. So she has this, one of my favorites is like the gold necklace, the gold leaf necklace and the honeycomb bracelet and earrings. Uh, so yeah, we're, it's so exciting to see that there's, it's, there's so much creativity and, 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 you know, you can impact in a small way. And 
for us, we're, you know, by yeah. purchasing and supporting these brands, you know, we're, we're putting our own little portion. Maybe we can't turn vegan overnight, but if we can support a lot of these brands, it, it makes a difference. <laughs> so true. Great advice. Yesidia, thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Hey, for thanks. more tips and uh, maybe you missed one of those brands that Yesenia shouted out, you can visit her website for more info. It is yesenia.com.